Ladies and gentlemen, this is Alon Bornstein and Joe Freeman's wonderful presentation of Chimichangas are cool. Oh, no, no. Um, it is the story of Matthew Brady and his photography career. <laughs> Matthew Brady is known as the father of photojournalism. And he studied under Samuel F. B. Morse, who brought photography to the United States. In 1844, he opened a photography studio in New York. On the left, you can see an early photo of Matthew Brady. And on the right, there is a drawing of his studio in New York. In 1856, he ended up moving it to Washington, D.C. so that he could have better access to leaders for doing portraits of them. From the first, I regarded myself as under obligation to my country to preserve the faces of its historic men and mothers. At the beginning of the Civil War, Matthew Brady got himself a crew and began to prepare to take pictures of battles and many of the war leaders. But his friends were not sure of him going into the battlefield without the support of any troops and no defense to cover behind, but he persisted. No, Matthew! You can't go! You won't be safe there! I had to go. A spirit in my feet said, Go. And I went. He almost died in Bull Run, Virginia, then he almost died again from starvation as he struggled back to Washington, D.C. He was really just the supervisor of his corps of photographers. Many pictures were really not his work. In fact, it was a sort of plagiarism that he did because they published their work through him and he did not cite them in the citations or anything. Madam Maddox would be very disappointed. Academic integrity, boys and girls. Matthew Brady was one of the first men ever to get real documentation in photographic form of war. Many people were struck by the savagery and the brutality that was in war. The picture of battle Antietam, which will soon come to view. Joy Freeman, where is the picture? I'm sorry, Master, I'm just finishing up my drawing. Just you have really to hurry quick, up. Really I need quickly. to present. It's a camera flashing. Okay, and oh, now it, here it comes. Here is the picture of the Battle of Antium that we were talking about. Wait, this. You said NT and I'm wrong. <laughs> Joey, come on. Joey! <laughs> As I was saying, the Battle of Antietam, which many had died, this was one of the first photographs that many realized the amount of damage that came with war. Stay in school, boys and girls. Very bad thing to do. <laughs> no one ever appreciated his work. When people really started appreciating it, it, it was really too late. He was already bankrupt. You always want what you don't have, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad for them. Yeah. <sighs> no one will ever know what I went through to secure those negatives. The world can never appreciate it. It changed the whole course of my life. Too bad it didn't do nothing for your buddy! He was broke and unappreciated his whole life. Like everyone famous who's even worth talking about, he became celebrated after his death. He was celebrated for his portraits of politicians and his photographs of American Civil War. He and his corps produced over 10,000 photographs of the war and the battles. He also had very poor eyesight that really, really, uh, well, uh, was a bummer. So, what was it like taking the pictures of the battles? Well, uh, most people thought it was sort of like this. Yes, okay, all right, get the right angle. Mm-hmm, very good, okay. Almost done, Matthew Brady will be so proud. Uh-huh, yes, all right, there we go. Matthew Brady, Matthew Brady, Mr. Brady. Yes. Is this good? Is this a good angle? Great angle there. Really? Are you Thank you, Jimmy. Oh. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Brady. I always wish to please you. You are my number, number one photographer. Keep taking pictures. Thank you. Okay. Yes, I got this. Yes, yes. But in fact, it was really more like this. Oh, God! Mr. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for the finale, we shall have the art gallery. Enjoy. At the top left, we can see a picture of Lincoln. I much preferred him with uh, the top hat and the the beard. Looks a little bit like that. Oh, how silly of us! Ah, happy. Very good there, Mr. Freeman. Very yeah. good. And here at the top right, we can see a little bit of some three Confederate prisoners. Ah, the Confederates, always in bad positions now, yeah. are they? Always enslaving people. Mm -hmm. How silly, how silly. Very foolish of them. And down here, we have a pontoon of troops marching into battle. I would much prefer if they had a little sunshine, wouldn't you, Mr. Freeman? Yes, although that could be a blue sky, we don't know with the... With such bold photography nowadays. Ah, oh, yes. Now we have coloured photographs. Yes. <laughs> colour. Silly. Silly, silly colour. Silly, silly. We have no idea whether Abe Lincoln had a dark red hair. You have no idea. Have oh, no we idea. don't, in fact. For all we know, every single person in history has lied. Yes, maybe they have on uh, purple suits. Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that oh, be Ah, yes. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. A few fun little facts about the... Abraham Lincoln, actually, he came to Matthew Brady many times to get pictures done, and actually one time it was right after the Cooper Union Address, which was very interesting, and uh, there is one thing that it was said was common with all of the pictures that Matthew Brady took of Abraham Lincoln. John Jay said that he looked through the man to the buttons of on the back of his coat. And that was really interesting, and uh, I just find that very interesting because Abraham Lincoln, in every single one of his pictures, seems to be peering out through the ice, right through you, and sees all of your thoughts right there, right there where they are. It is very interesting. Very skilled photography by Matthew Brady. Anyway, more fun little information on the three Confederate prisoners. They are. Uh, it is. It critics have uh, noted that uh, the the prisoner on the right looks especially proud, and he seems to be retaining his individuality. And uh, they have found that very interesting, even though he is a prisoner at Gettysburg, and that was that was shocking. Very interesting. Now the photo at the bottom. This one here. It is very interesting. There is uh, that river that they are standing next to is the Rappahannock River, and they are they are cavalry lining up, and they are they are kind of standing guard at that river at many times. Uh, that river, by the way, is also also known as the Hedgeman's River. Uh, it is named after Nathaniel Hedgeman, and he was an early settler of the region. Uh, and, uh, anyway, so that river at many times was, uh, serving as a, a sort of border and a, a blockade, uh, for the, the Union and the Confederates against the other team. They kind of, uh, a team, more of just side in brutal battle, not, not a game. Anyway, uh... They they would kind of use that as a blockade, and here the cavalry is standing guard. Very, very interesting. Now one little thing that I found kind of interesting. If you look down at this guy, look how proud he's looking. I just find that kind of funny. He's a kind of funny guy. He's all separated from the rest of the group, thinking he's so cool, but in fact... He is separated from the rest of the group. He should be with the rest of them. Wow, that is such a typical stance he has right in the bottom right corner. Very interesting. Very funny. Very funny. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have misspoke just earlier. I said I said that John Jay uh, said that thing about uh, Abe Lincoln's looks. But actually, it was John Hay. John Jay is completely different guy. Completely different time period. John Hay, as in a hay for horses. Thank you. 
Thank you for listening to our little speech to you about Matthew Brady. It's been interesting talking to you. If you want to listen to more of our wonderful rants, too bad. We'll see you next time, and this is Alon Bornstein. And Joe Freeman. Thank you. Goodbye. Yay, dance party. Very nice. Hello. Oh, yes, Russian rap. Where you to go? Hello, we're dancing. You cannot see, but we dance right now. Don't disturb my culture. Dancing. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. It's been nice knowing yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah.